It's Monday, November 23rd. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Len Gobier. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website. You can find them at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. Kevin, the town council met last week, last Thursday. Anything good happen? Uh, the airport commission asked that the council transfer the amount of $356,000 for architectural and design costs for the new airport terminal. Bud Brialt, airport manager, made the presentation followed by questions from the council. I'm Bud Brialt, the airport manager. Uh, just to, perhaps to repeat a little bit of what the town manager said, that in March of 2009, at approximately the 60% design level, it was found that the terminal design at 35,820 square feet, gross square feet, and the associated site work was at approximately 18 to 19 million dollars for construction costs only, with an estimated total project cost in excess of 25 million. Uh, other words, approximately five million dollars over our allowed budget. The terminal design was stopped, and an extensive redesign effort was started to get the construction costs at or below 15 million dollars, with a total project cost at or below 20 million dollars including the terminal and associated site work. The plans before you are the revised scaled down terminal plan elevation and site plan. We are now at 34,492 gross square feet and in the current bidding climate we should be within budget having removed at least 29 items or systems from the design which could be added back to the project as change orders later if funds are or become available at a future date. This required a major redesign effort on the part of AECOM to stay within budget and to keep the project on time within our aggressive uh, schedule. The redesign costs were negotiated extensively, concluding with a signed contract on July 21st, 2009, subject to this appropriation order approval. Much of this work has already been completed and we are near 100% redesign. This appropriation order will transfer additional funds from the Airport Enterprise Fund Reserve to pay for the negotiated and contracted architectural and engineering costs associated with the downsizing of the proposed airport terminal project. And the current airport enterprise fund reserve balance is expected to be certified by the Department of Revenue at approximately $8.6 million. Finally, these funds will be 80% reimbursed to the airport enterprise fund reserve from the Massachusetts Department of Transportation Aeronautics Division, formerly called MAC, and uh, these amounts have been incorporated within our current total project cost budget and I recommend and request your approval of this supplemental appropriation. Thank you and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Councilor Crocker. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, your work on the airport commission too. There's a lot of good commissioners over there. How are you tonight? Uh, but if I may ask, or airport manager, um, we talk about uh, knowing that this expense was coming. We not talk about taking it from your reserves. We talk about it being budgeted and part of the whole scheme at the new price point. And then we talk about the ability of a reimbursement that is an 80-20 split between MAC and so forth. Could you talk about the schedule of things? Obviously, without a plan, we can't be voted on for funds, and we... Without that, we can't advance into the rounds and so forth. Could you give us some idea of uh, the reimbursement aspect and w why this plan is so crucial at this point? Um, this appropriation, the supplemental appropriation, is crucial for us to be able to complete uh, the pre-bidding phase, the pre-construction phase of the project. Uh, without this appropriation, we'll be unable to complete that phase. We'll be unable to bid it. We'll be able to, unable to proceed with the project. Uh, assuming that you do approve this, then this will allow us to move into the next phase, and which would be the bidding phase. We need to complete the bidding phase uh, be so that we can get uh, approximate bids so that there are contracted construction manager at risk can then prepare a, a guaranteed maximum price. With the guaranteed maximum price, we can then go to the Mass Department of Transportation and, and uh, try to get them to continue to approve uh, the balance of the $15 million commitment that they've given us on this project. Without that guaranteed maximum price, we cannot do that. A follow up, Mr. President? Sure. Um, what is your understanding of the most recent information on the commitment of the $15 million? Uh, 
My most recent information in speaking with the uh, Mass DOT at this point is that we have their still, we still have their full commitment to the full original $15 million, of which we've already received a little over $2 million. Uh, we had appropriations this year for $4.7 million, but because of the delays in the project, we were unable to expend all that money before the end of June, so some of those monies are being deferred, so that's just going to drag the commitment out a little bit longer. And I'm sorry, Mr. President, one more follow-up, if I may? Yes, sir. Um, originally, we were talking that some of this was coming because the FAA funding was getting tight, mm -hmm. and they were looking for the town to go out to bond, and we, they were going to make payments along the way. This is a different type of commitment. Am I correct on that? Uh, with the terminal, the, the agreement uh, some time ago was that the Massachusetts Aeronautics Commission and the town, uh, the airport, would pay for the terminal, and that the FAA, through our uh, airport improvement plan entitlement funding and the town would pay for the uh, uh, access road. So that was the agreement. We have the entitlement funds. Uh, most of those are already on board uh, to the tune of a little over $2 million. Uh, the rest of it would come in subsequent years as a reimbursement. Thank you. Councilor Kennedy, then Councilor Milne. Could you refresh my memory on the current, what the current terminal's uh, square footage is? That's uh, roughly 28,000 square feet. Okay, so we're gaining about 7,000 7, square feet. Um, beyond the, the benefit of having the access road and the benefit of having closed off the rotary access and then in the improved landscaping, what do you feel is the benefit of um, rebuilding a terminal at this time? Is um, is it the condition, the current condition of the terminal? Um, what, what, are you, what, what are you gaining with that additional, with a new building that's only 6,000, uh, 7,000 square feet larger? Um, I, it might seem like a dumb question, but I, I, I think you've shrunk, shrunk it down so much that I'm wondering if you still have the benefit. Yes, we still have the benefit. It's a it's a 57 year old building, roughly, uh, and it shows its age. It's been suffering from uh, neglect. Uh, it's uh, all of the systems are outdated and need to be replaced. Uh, we would be replacing it with a much more modern terminal up and um, more modern amenities. Um, it's also in violation of uh, FAA Part 77 airspace restrictions because the height of the roof penetrates the airspace uh, near the runway, so we would be fixing that by moving the terminal uh, further back away from the runways. Um, and it's a TSA security requirements we would be fixing, and as also part of it, we would be demolishing a few other buildings as part of the project. With your um, so. Uh, does this project also, I mean, the systems that you mentioned, um, I imagine they, they include um, enhanced security? Yes. Um, is that included in the cost? Yes. Okay. Thank you. The motion passed 12 to 1. Kevin, are there any meetings going on tonight or tomorrow? There are two meetings this week. Tonight we have the planning board meeting going on at 7 o'clock in the town hall hearing room. That's for Monday the 23rd. And then on the 24th, Tuesday, we have the Waterways Committee meeting right here in the Selectman's Conference Room where we're filming this at 7 o'clock. That'll do it for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Len Gobeel.